in part one, chapter 44 of Don Quixote, the new arrivals are servants of Don Luis's father who have come to take the boy home. Don Luis tells the judge everything, and unsure of what to do, the judge asks him to stay for another day. Meanwhile, two customers try to sneak out of the inn without paying and beat Juan Palomique within an inch of his life. The women of the household beg Don Quixote to help, but he says that he cannot fight people of such low birth. The women call him a coward. The barber whose basin Don Quixote stole arrives at the inn. He demands the return of the basin, but Sancho Panza fights him off. Don Quixote promises to make Sancho Panza a knight someday. In part one, chapter 45, Don Quixote's band of friends go along with his and Sancho Panza's assertions that the basin is a helmet and the saddlebag is a harness, which causes the four servants and the three policemen who just arrived to become outraged. The Don yeah. whacks one of the policemen with his lance and a huge oh. fight breaks out. One of the policemen realizes he has a warrant for Don Quixote's arrest for helping the galley slaves escape. The Don flies into a rage and chokes the man. They're separated, but Don Quixote continues to rant. How could this man be unaware that knights errant are exempt from the applications of all laws and statutes? In part one, chapter 46, Pero Perez convinces the policeman not to take Don Quixote away because he's so insane that a judge would just put him right back on the street. Pero Perez secretly purchases the basin for Don Quixote. Sancho Panza notices Dorotea and Don Fernando canoodling in the shadows and calls the princess a whore. Don Quixote flies off the handle, but Dorotea calms them both with reminders of the oh. enchantments afflicting the inn. Pero Perez has arranged for a wooden crate to be built for Don Quixote's transport home. Don Quixote gladly goes into it and is put into an ox cart. Chapters 44 through 46 are a mishmash of all the individual threads of the novel coming together. The characters who've spent the most time with Don Quixote realize that his affliction, or outlook, doesn't make him a bad person. He's different from everyone else, but there are times when that is actually very useful.